Hello, hello. It's another day, another opportunity to get some strength in, get some cardio in, put those headphones in and really kind of give yourself a release. This has gone on for a long time now, so I hope that you're still with us, sticking with it and whatever that means for you, but make sure you're keeping active. It will really, really help your mental game. All right, so today we've got a 20 minute AMRAP, but before that we've got some mobility. So we're giving you the freedom to do what you'd like. Um, you could check out the Down Dog app and do some yoga. You could go back a few days and check out some strength that you may have missed. We've been programming every single day, Monday through Friday. So go find something on your own to do, um, wanting to give you that freedom and give you that excitement to go find something for yourself. So the workout is a 20 minute AMRAP. <clears throat> You've got 30 sit-ups or bicycles. You've got 20, um, I can't read it backwards, <laughs> weighted swings or air squats, and then you've got 10 push-up to step through. Now, you will need to get an interval timer app. Um, there's plenty of free ones out there because every two minutes within the 20 minutes, you're gonna stop what you're doing in the middle of that wrapper round, and you're going to sprint 100 meters or do 10 double unders, um, or excuse me, 40 double unders, 40 double unders. <laughs> Uh, sprinting 100 meters should probably take you 15 seconds, so count it out in your head, maybe count out 8 seconds out and 8 seconds back just to overdo it a little bit, and then, or you can grab your jump rope and do 40 double unders, or you can do 80 singles. Once you're done with that, you go right back to the work. You do not wait until this 2 minutes is up. So, let's walk through these. You know, our 30, 30 sit-ups or bicycles, simple, um, just our traditional or you can bring it all the way up to the toes, all the way back, and then your bicycle, you know, you've got that plateau position with your shins parallel to the ground, dropping one leg, picking up the same side shoulder, twisting it in. I actually like to pause through the middle just to reset myself to make sure my hips are pointing at the sky, my shoulders are pointing at the sky, so I get that reset every time like this. Just like that. So 30 of those. Then you have 20 weighted swings. So that's a kettlebell swing. You could use your cans. I've got some beans. <laughs> Using those legs, glutes and hamstrings. Glutes and hamstrings. This is not an arm exercise. You could also use a child if you're like Scott and you have one of those who is a willing participant or you could use a kettlebell or you could use a dumbbell. Now, finally, we've got the push up step through. So let's get this out of the way a little bit. This is a new one. So you're gonna come into a plank, get down to that push up, and then you're gonna twist your right foot. So it's perpendicular to me now. Now I'm gonna pull this left foot through, hand up balancing me, come through about this far because you wanna maintain that shoulder stability. If you're doing this, you're not stable. So you want to keep that strong shoulder, come back, push up, then you do the other side. So we twist that left foot perpendicular, pull up that right foot, strong shoulder, I'm not losing control, and come back. So that would be two, and you've got 10 of those. All right, modifications for this is to just not do the push up. So you'll just be in the plank, twist that foot perpendicular, Come on through and back. Twist that foot through and back. So see, I got a little off balance, but you go nice and slow. It's kind of a fun movement. If you need to modify it even more, you'll just be in that plank, bringing the opposite knee to opposite shoulder. So I'm gonna bring my left knee to my right shoulder and twitch. 10 of those. So try something new today. I know that it's probably into a mundane routine at this point. So try something new and good luck and have fun. And we miss you guys.